In the 90s, Sonic had an Egyptian great-great-grand-something grandfather named May Sonic. And May Sonic's wife, Sonic's great-great-grandmother, was named Penelope. Both of them were Moby Egyptian. And one of them was named Penelope. Don't ask how that made any sense. It's comics and shots. A completely improvised, semi-comedic musing by Howard Stern's Mick the Nerd and YouTube and TikTok's The Mick the Man. And today's subject... Harvey Comics. The whole shebang. The whole enchilada. The whole whole. What's more to say? What's less to say? You got Casper. All those weird little comics about a little ghost guy having a time. Inspired an animated series. Sorry, did I say an animated series? Animated shorts way back when. There was this old one where, like, he made friends with a fox called Ferdy the Fox. Had a fun time for a little bit. And then the fox died. And then it became a ghost, and that's your happy ending. Like, what? Then you got little Audrey. I'm not gonna lie, I have no idea about her at all. All I knew about her was, like, from, like, the Harvey Street Kids cartoon from a few years ago. Little Dot, you know, her whole thing was just painting dots on things. And that's it. She just painted dots on things. That's all Lil Dot did. They, they changed her a lot in the cartoon that I mentioned. Harvey Street Kids or Harvey Girls Forever, whatever you want to call it. Where she was kind of like a genius or whatever. And then you got Lil Lotta. Where it's like, uh, the, the whole joke was that she's like heavy set and had super strength. But... She never came down about herself about her weight, so that's weirdly progressive. And then he got hot stuff, a little demon baby, a little demon baby that was 300 years old. Don't ask how that made any sense, a 300 year old baby that still wore a diaper. Think about the hell that must be, your body slowly aging, while you're still sentient, still intelligent, in the form of a baby. They didn't think about that. It was just a silly comment. But you know how it is. And let's not forget the Mac Daddy of all, Harvey. Richie Rich. The most impossible to really modernize character for the most part. Well, not impossible. They showed up. He showed up in that Harvey Street cartoon. Hung out with the girls. Became a tech mogul. They even put in his dog, Dollar. Ain't that fun? Who's a Dollarmation. In the cartoon, they made him, like, genetically engineered to have dollar spots. It was great. Yeah. But, you know, it's not like Scrooge McDuck, where Scrooge earned all his, like, um, uh, like money. Richie Rich was just some child of privilege who went on adventures. And had two, uh, two girlfriends, one who sucked and one who was nice. Because, you know, in comics, like, main characters couldn't just have one girlfriend back then. There always had to be a love triangle. Even when the main character was ten years old in Richie Rich's case. Yeah. That Christmas movie they made with him was really weird. Like, he had, like they made his robot maid look super creepy and weird looking. And there was a machine that has wishes but could only work on Christmas for some reason. Yeah. It was weird. Ugh. I don't know how many of those comics are still in reprints or ad adapted for the day, but I don't think there's many. It's a whole weird thing. But hey, for the people still making movies in one IP, that exists, so use it. Use it up. Probably not Casper. We have enough Casper. Maybe, maybe like Lil Lotta. Give her a chance again. How with that? Like, comment, and subscribe. Donate if you're feeling nice. And always remember, a praise be to the Blood Elk.
In Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog, there's only four Chaos Emeralds. Let that sit in your brain.